Hey guys, been working in the shop this weekend, working on the X-Men cab, and was trying to get some video and content to put up and share with you guys of some of the work that I was doing, but had mostly a lot of learnings and stuff of uh, what I still need to do and where to be able to put cameras and things like that to uh, be able to get some the best views and Things like that. Also, uh, batteries die in. All kinds of... Learned I need to find my power cord for my camera rather than relying on battery. So, a lot of interesting learnings. I'm not sure if any of that content will see the light of day. But, I figured while I was out here, give you a quick uh, shop tour. So, over here, we have, starting in the corner... There's a toolbox back behind the door. Keep all my kind of smaller hand tools and stuff here in this toolbox inside the shop. Got drill bits, different types and sizes, different types of bits for the power drills, flathead, Phillips. X, Star, Torx, all kinds of different bits. Over here, you got a thermoformer, a little mini thermoformer. Here's a 3D printer. It doesn't get a whole lot of use uh, these days. But up here, all the material for the uh, 3D printer. I'm just oop, hitting buttons, trying out this gimbal. That I have too so all kinds of new stuff but here is uh, storage organization supplies glue things like that paint here's the uh, hand drill or power drill uh, station here hot glue guns heat guns things like that never have enough power drills especially when you're building cabs and things like that where you're having to drill holes for dowel pins and put in screws and things like that the less you have to be switching bits and things like that back and forth uh, makes things a little bit easier and less of a headache uh, here's workbench here supplies computer used to uh, control the CNC and the laser engraver down below it all about efficiency in here this is a 12 by 12 shop so definitely I'm trying to make the most of it so here's the uh, laser engraver here it pulls out and so there it is. Load stuff in through the top here. And then uh, got a duct venting system through the back. Ducts out through the, the wall here underneath the CNC. Similar to like your dryer duct and stuff like that in your laundry room. Uh, there's the... CNC, I just had to change the belt on it this weekend. It broke. Here's the dust extraction system. That goes up along the ceiling, out along the top there, and down out into the garage. So I got the dust uh, collection an air compressor and things out in the garage so it stays kind of quiet in here while I'm working. Uh, here's a small little paint booth I use mostly during the winter time when it's cold and snowy here in Michigan. Keep this uh, place heated while I'm working so it makes it easier for painting things and stuff and that kind of just pulls the fumes out underneath the roll-up door. The sanding station over here. 
hooked up to the dust extraction so I can turn that on and do some hand sanding orbital sander uh, sandpaper and stuff all organized by grit here makes it easy quick to find there's my bandsaw hooked up onto a uh, kind of pivoting Lazy Susan type base and it also pulls it out so I can extend it out be able to load longer bigger pieces through it if I need to also can spin it around here I got a small little tiny belt sander here for sanding down bolts and pieces of metal Small dowel pins and little odds and ends. Here's the my uh, drill press. I extended the neck on it so I can get thicker pieces of material underneath there. And we got organization and different hardware and stuff like this all stored up along the top these sorting bins from Harbor Freight made them so that you can slide these out and they got all kinds of you know little tiny smaller organization inside of them Just have to label these ones still but these are a bunch of different types of feet for the cabinets and stuff this one's a wood screws different oh nope this one's cam locks and pins and brackets and stuff oh. this one is our different wood screws of various sizes and colors and shapes and we got different buttons and stuff for the control panels and encoder boards in the next one and all kinds of fun stuff tape here's a little mini mill buffing wheel little mini lathe Over here is our battery charging station for charging up the batteries for all the drills and things. First aid and trauma pack. Hopefully, don't ever have to use that, but it's there in case. Fire extinguisher. That's one thing I have had to use just once in the, uh, I don't know, seven years that I've lived here now in this uh, space, so... Hopefully I don't have to use it again. These things are really nice. I uh, They have them at like Lowe's and Home Depot and Ace and stuff. But I found somebody on eBay that was selling them. And picked me up one. Nice little uh, gauge chart type thing to be able to help you figure out what your different thread pitches and sizes are on your bolts and nuts and things like that. Well, I think that is just about it for the workshop itself. There's clamps and stuff like that uh, stored up on the ceiling. Never have enough clamps either. Um, and we move out here into the garage, which has become an extension of the shop. So here we got a router table this I got kind of a flush bit on uh, a uh, planer down here and got our belt sand larger belt sander uh, another table saw or um, 
power table saw. Another router table here connected to the table saw. We have the table saw. Got a joiner here. Over here coming out of the workshop is my paint. Spray paint, rattle cans, and things like that. Organization. Uh, back behind it is where I keep the air compressor and the dust collection system. This is a little tiny powder coating booth. And got a whole bench grinder. Down here is JoJo's workbench and tools when he's out here helping me working. Here's another router table. Back behind it, this folds down and folds away. Um, back behind it is a sandblasting cabinet. A little polisher tumbler unit. Got some lumber storage up above here. Different signs and stuff like that that I've made. Other things that I've picked up for garage storage or garage uh, decor. A little oven for powder coated bacon powder coated parts. Hand grinder station. Here's the plasma cutter, CNC plasma cutter. Down below here is all, I haven't figured out where to put this stuff yet. It's all arcade cabinet uh, bits and pieces, power supplies, cables, things like that, lights, cords, buttons. Over here is my welding area slash makeshift spray booth. So... Got this media air cleaner system that extracts the air from when you're welding, but it also comes in handy for pulling paint fumes and stuff out of the area as well. Oh, you got a little Lincoln buzz box stick welder down here underneath the welding table. And uh, here's my nice welder, the Omni Pro multi uh, welder. So it MIG, TIG, flux, stick, just about everything. It's a little cheap uh, plasma cutter there from Amazon, but I've had it for years and used it a ton, and it has worked great. It was like one of the cheapest ones that they sold at the time, but it has definitely held up and worked really well. Got a little handy MIG down here, at Lincoln handy MIG down at the bottom. Um, let's see. Shuffle over here. Got some sawhorses. Do some work out here building stuff. Here's a sheet metal press brake and roller. Bending and shaping sheet metal. This is a bigger, heavier press for bending bigger, thicker brackets. And pressing in bearings and different things. Here is one of JoJo's Christmas presents that I haven't finished yet. That I need to finish up for him. So it's a Ninja Turtles layer for him to play with his Ninja Turtle figures. So need to finish gluing it together. He comes out here and plays with it all the time though uh, while we're out here working together. It's, uh, so this is meant to be the sewer under the street layer. Then this is your your street layer. And there was going to be some shops and like a road and stuff with manhole covers that would come down into your your sewer and things like that. So working on trying to finish that up someday. Little mini forge. Metal shrinkers and stretchers sheet metal uh forming bag vice we got another work uh toolbox workbench over here keep a lot of my bigger tools and stuff for working on cars and 
trucks and uh, tractors and equipment and stuff around the house all out here. Working on decasing some of the monitors and stuff for the X-Men cabs out here while I have the space. But um, Rotary arm saw. bunch of the discs and blades and stuff like that for my grinders and my table saw and dust collection system. There's tea molding collection. And here's the table saw again. This is my grandpa's table saw. He gave me one. I went off to college and started to do design work and stuff. He uh, gave this to me added and modified to it uh, a little bit since he gave it to me but definitely a cherished tool that has gotten a lot of use and I think about him a ton anytime I'm using it but that is uh, we got wood storage lumber storage up on the walls uh, more wood lumber storage up in racks up on the ceilings Lots of storage, lots of, lots of stuff. So that is basically the workshop though.